Hi, this is Maya Isaksson from the Spectrum Noir design team and today I'm going to show you how to make this plaid background using aqua tints. And I started by picking out two color schemes, schemes that I liked. Uh, one is gold and grey and red and one is blue and silver. Uh, and both of them are nice now for holiday seasons or winter card. Uh, cards, but you can uh, use whatever colors you want to make it suit whatever theme you want. Uh, so what I'm using is just my aqua tints, a piece of cardstock. Uh, I'm using China paper, China uh, stamping paper, I think it's called. Uh, it's just a, a thicker cardstock that's really smooth. Uh, but you can use uh, watercolor paper or even a good quality cardstock since we aren't we're just painting on lines so it doesn't matter if it's a bit uh, sensitive to water as long as you tape it down so it doesn't buckle too much because then it will run all over the place uh, and I use a flat brush and then later I also use a smaller brush so what I do is basically to paint on lines uh, and on this card it's diagonal lines uh, and then I dry it between each um, color to make sure that they sort of overlap instead of blending. Um, and as you can see I'm not very neat about it. <laughs> they are a bit crooked and look a bit horrible right now. Uh, and for me that's really neat it's uh, kind of painful when it doesn't get, when it doesn't get straight but uh, as you will see in the end it doesn't really matter because it will look good anyway so I would recommend that if you are a bit neater uh, you could tape it down to a sort of cutting board or something that you can rotate because it makes it easier to do straight lines so as you can see I started by adding the red color uh, and then I dried it and painted on the grey color uh, and then I dry it again and it uh, sort of makes since you dry it in between you get these squares where the line crosses uh, and if you wouldn't dry it before it would just mix together and become like a greyish red color uh, and then I take the gold paint and a thinner brush and as you can see the gold paint is really really thick and covers everything very good uh, and it's really important that you shake the bottle of gold uh, aqua tints before using it because otherwise all this pigment will end up in the bottom of the jar and uh, you will not get this creamy uh, lovely color and if you don't want it as uh, opaque you can water it down a bit to make it thinner and you will just get a shimmery sort of ink. I actually do this when I use my metallics. I use a special water jar to rinse my brushes in uh, because then I can use it when I watercolor and the color will actually turn out a bit shimmery because this is so much pigment in this and I, I feel like I'm wasting it. If you sort of uh, rinse off your brush and look at the jar you can see like it's a layer in the bottom if you let it stand for a while and sort of fall to the bottom and I feel like yeah I, <laughs> I want to reuse it if possible uh, so I use it for watercolor when I want to add shimmer um, so it's it's a very um, pigmented color and then I just I dry everything uh, and I think this card is actually done after that and you can sort of peel it off this is regular painters tape but for uh, sensitive surfaces so it won't tear your paper and it also it comes a bit loose when you heat it up so it's uh, it's easy to remove and you can see it's really shimmery and lovely um, and then I went on to make the blue and silver card so for this one I'm making sort of a more symmetrical pattern <coughs> uh, 
and uh, since I'm using this really light pastel blue and the dark blue uh, I start with the pastel one because uh, it uh, could reactivate the darker color if you're not if you don't want that um, since it's like really light it will pick up some of the darker color so I dry this one off first and then I take the, the dark color on top of this uh, and as you can see if you don't uh, dry your paper before changing directions there won't be these squares in the corners or in the overlaps it's just like lines and it's all mixed together so that's something you can think about if you want if you use the same color and dry in between you will still get those squares in the corners uh, so now I go on to the darker color and this color is so beautiful it looks kind of black when you add it because it's so dark but uh, it really when it dries it's really pretty and you can see again that I didn't dry between changing directions but where it crosses the light blue you get the squares uh, in the crossing uh, not so much uh, when you cross the uh, the same color since I didn't dry in between so you can play and get different effects depending on what you like um, and as I said the yeah right I wanted the blue to be a bit the lighter blue to be a bit darker so I actually went over the dark color again to reactivate it and you can see it spreads into the light color and I think it looks really nice uh, it's a different look too uh, so it's just test different things and have fun and you will see that it makes different effects depending on how you do it and I, all, I dabbed off a bit of the ink since it was puddling and it takes a long time to dry uh, and now I'm going on to the silver color and as you can see it looks like a grey thing <laughs> there because it's stand, it was standing there for a while so you give it a good mix up before adding it and you will get all the pigment and, and uh, it will be more opa opaque so for this I used the uh, smaller brush uh, to put it on top of the other inks. Um, yeah, it's so, not so so much to talk about. It's just a matter of trying and having fun and adding colors. Um, And the, the fun thing about using aqua tints for this, you can of course use any other uh, color, uh, water based color, or even you can use your Spectrum Noir alcohol markers or uh, illustrator markers and use the wide tip on the Spectrum Noir markers maybe and you can make a plate with that uh, and you can use um, any water color and thing and things but the thing about the aqua tints that it's really smooth and it gives a, a smooth look to it uh, so I kind of like that uh, effect but it's fun even if it's uh, not as smooth it looks more organic so uh, it's sort of trial and error and with the amount of color that I poured up in my in my uh, storage trays there I can make like a lot of cards it's a lot of ink um, and I tend to if I don't use it all I, I save it in the tray and let it dry and then I add some water and reuse it later so I don't waste anything um, so you just put it aside and it will dry in a few days uh, and then you can add water and start over and you can get more saturated colors if you don't add so much water so that's also fun 
So I'm just fiddling a bit and, and making lines and yeah, until I until it looks like uh, like I want it. And these patterns are really trendy now. The the plaid is you can see it everywhere in paper lines and uh, yeah, sort of everywhere. So it's fun to be able to make your own ones. So this is pretty much finished now. I'm just drying it off and then you, I will show you the card I made for this. And I hope you got inspired and want to try this. Uh, and uh, uh, please check in again later and see if I make any more videos. Uh, and have a nice holiday if you see this before. See? Very nice with the silver color. So thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye.